Today in clinic, we will be prepping number nine, mesiolingual and distolingual for a class three composite restoration. In this video huddle, we will go over this preparation, contouring, and polishing this restoration. Pre-clinic, before prepping, visualize your gingival and incisal contacts. Your class three preparation will keep incisal contact intact and just minimally break gingival contact. It's acceptable to have a 0.25 to 0.5 millimeter bevel. Your incisal contact is kept intact. Your gingival contact allows just the tip of the explorer to pass and facial contact is minimally broken. Your preparation will have an incisal gingival dimension of 1.5 to 2 millimeters. And the axial wall will be 1 to 1.1 millimeters. Remember, these are ideal sizes for your preclinical preparation. However, on a patient, the extent of the caries will determine the preparation size. Proximally, our preparation will have rounded line angles. And if we visualize where our facial contact is, we can see that we just minimally broke it. In preclinic, you will always access your class three preparation from the lingual. However, when you are working on a patient, you will have to make the decision on whether you will use a facial or a lingual access. A facial access will be acceptable if the carious lesion extends close to the facial or onto the facial like the photo above. It is also acceptable if you are replacing an existing class 3 restoration that is on the facial that either has defective margins or recurrent decay. In all other cases, a lingual access is preferred. A lingual access is preferred for your class 3 restoration because the restoration will not be visible to your patient. Over time, composite can discolor and the margins can stain. If the restoration is on the facial, this will usually require replacement. However, on the lingual, since the patient cannot see it, this will not be failure of the restoration. If the carious lesion extends very close to the facial wall, a thin layer of enamel can be left for aesthetics. However, in your preparations for preclinic, you will just minimally break facial contact. When we completed our class two amalgam and composite restorations, we utilized the Toffelmeyer and Garrison matrix system. This system will not be utilized for our class three composites. Instead, we will use the Mylar strip secured by a wooden wedge like the photo above. To note in this photo that is not a pre-contoured wooden wedge, the photo attached shows contoured wedges that we promote using for this restoration. To contour your restoration, you can utilize football, the football burr sequence. To polish, you can use Shofu one gloss tips, followed by the Jiffy brush, And at the end, you can utilize an aluminum oxide polishing paste, such as enamelize on either a profi tip or on gauze, or a piece of two by two gauze. This concludes our video huddle for this week. Please come to preclinic prepared with any questions for your instructors, and we will see you then.